Hello. Uh, today, as I record this, uh, we are on the second day of the Tokyo 2020 Olympics in 2021. Um, and uh, I just thought perhaps we ought to do a lesson about it because soon it will be history. <laughs> and uh, um, so I, I don't know what you've, how you feel about the Olympics. It's one of those controversial issues uh, people have strong feelings in favor or against. Um, so maybe interesting. And a, a way to look at that is there are cons, bad points, and there are pros, good points. Uh, well, like any discussion, you have pros and cons. I'll start with the cons first, because uh, if you've read any newspapers or any followed any news in Japan, it's quite a lot of negative. Uh, they're trying to be positive, but it's 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 kind of negative news about about the Olympics problems, scandals with the uh, uh, organizers, um, uh, uh, bad comments from people, um, bad, some some people making jokes about the Holocaust. Uh, I don't know that various people have been kicked out. Uh, was it Mori, the uh, the head, for making sexist comments and lots of little problems like that. So okay. So there's been lots of negative publicity. So here's some cons. Okay, well, I've got three written down here. Enormous expenses, right? It, it costs lots of money to have the Olympics, which you and I have paid for through our taxes. Um, so that's a negative. Uh, the next one, destruction of old neighborhoods. Uh, whole areas have been bulldozed, bulldozers, uh, to make way for the Olympic village and the Olympic... Um, uh, stadium. Um, usually I think Japanese think of these things as good things, but um, you know if you destroy an old neighborhood it's kind of sad that the old shitamachi, if it goes it'll never come back. So that, I don't know maybe that's a bad thing. I guess the biggest criticism is it's not the right time because of coronavirus, COVID-19. As I record this, still, I think there's about 23, 24% of the population have been vaccinated. So 76% have not. To have an international event where thousands of athletes coming uh, is maybe the wrong time. It doesn't feel like time for a celebration. Uh, you, you couldn't have any spectators in the stadium yesterday when they had the opening ceremony, only the VIPs. Um, uh, which is kind of funny, because they keep telling, you know, schools can't have uh, sports days, undokai, but the Olympics is okay. Hmm? I don't know. Okay, but that's all the negative stuff. How about some pros, some good points of the Olympics? <gasps> um, well, it brings great publicity to Japan. Maybe uh, people around the world will watch TV and they'll maybe watch some of the opening ceremony. It puts Japan in the spotlight. Um, I thought the, uh, the actual, the, the, the show was quite good. I mean, it's very boring all those people walking onto the stage and taking pictures of themselves. But I thought the, uh, the, the show was pretty good and the singing was good. I don't know. Um, <laughs> second good point, it's something to watch on TV. Most people like watching sports. I, I like watching soccer. I'm not, not so interested in sports, but I'm strange. I mean, maybe most people like it. And maybe the biggest point, it raises national pride. Wow. Um, if you're proud of Japan, proud of, or whatever country people are from, uh, they want to see their, their country do well. So that's good, okay. And my personal take, my personal opinion, uh, is if Japan does well in the Olympics, like for example, if they come second or third, you know, we expect America to win most gold medals, but if Japan comes second or third after after China, that will be a successful Olympics if they get you know hundred gold medals or something. Um, and then I think all of the problems about coronavirus will be forgotten if it's a good if it's good uh, good result. Usually that's the how it works. If things go positively for the national team, people will remember it as a good Olympics. Um, if it doesn't, and if the coronavirus goes out of control, yeah, that would be bad. But um, 
personally, I think coronavirus is coming under control. If they just get more vaccine out, if they can double the number of people vaccinated in the next two weeks, uh, it will be a success. But anyway, that's my personal opinion. I have no knowledge. I'm just an English teacher in a B course. What do I know? Um, okay, so I'm curious what your personal take, what do you think? So I've got three questions here. It says, uh, number one, are you interested in the Olympics? Why or why not? Tell me. Number two, what are the good points for you of the Olympics? What are the bad? These are just my examples. I'm sure you have different opinions. What do you think? Number three, if you had tickets to attend an Olympic event, would you go? Why or why not? I know it's maybe impossible at the moment because uh, there's a national um, or a city emergency because of coronavirus, nobody can watch. But if you could watch, would you go? Which event would you like to see or not? Tell me what you think. Okay, I've talked enough. So think about the Olympics, good points, bad points, and we'll have a chat when I see you next. Okay, thank you. See you soon.